All right, another day. Let's see if we can get something done today. Um, I got a few pictures that I got off the uh, web and uh, of Mustangs, and I might be trying to show too much of the muscle definition. Uh, they were really lean and very, very, what am I trying to think? They were tough. I mean, they were wiry Mustangs. Uh, they literally were like mountain goats. If they wanted to go up a, a hill, they could go up a hill that uh, other horses, like quarter horses, would have a hell of a time getting up. Anyway, I'm just going to get back on this. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I'm still working on the tendons of the foreleg. I, I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking I'm going to put this aside and work on something new for a little while because I'm getting burned out on this thing. And uh, that happens sometimes, and it's best to take a deep breath and get away from something for a little while. I'm going to do as much as I can today, but... Uh, I think next week I may just try something a little different. Don't know yet what I'm going to do, but I'm I'm getting tired of looking at this horse. And I got three more two more horses to go, maybe three. So I'm not giving up on it. I'm just I think it's time to take a little break from it. But that's just the way I feel right now. I may not feel that way tomorrow. I think sometimes you can get it carried away with too much detail. I look at photographs of actual horses. You don't see the detail that I'm trying to put into this because they got fur on their damn legs. 
so I'm just gonna settle down, relax a little bit, just sculpt basically, and pray that it all comes out looking good. And not get worried about the minutia of the muscles and the tendons and all the connectors and stuff like that. Have them there, but don't overemphasize them. I'm happy with that leg. It looks good. I may come back later and work through it. I think what I'm going to do is hit it with some lighter fluid. Let me check one thing before I do that. Yeah, I need to get that cleaned up in there. You have to be a bit of a contortionist when you're working on a sculpture because you got to reach into odd places and try to make them all work out. I'm going to be using some Ronsonol on the uh, leg of the horse. Just takes the roughness out. Well, I've got as far as I'm going to go today on these legs. I'm going to let them sit till tomorrow. And I'll come back down and take a look at them, see how I feel about them.
Besides that, it takes a while for this uh, lighter fluid to evaporate. trouble with having the camera too close to my sculpture is that I turned the horse and it knocked his uh, nostrils out of whack, so i got to work on those too. Because it hit the camera. Alright everybody, have a great night and I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.